show Campy what seems to be the problem. I fell down in school the other day and started shaking. Can you tell me what happened in a little more detail? Campy was in the playground with his friends when he went quiet and seemed to stare at nothing. Then he moved in a strange way and fainted. The teacher said his face went a funny color and he didn't answer when they tried to talk to him. We had to collect him from school. He slept the whole afternoon. Is this the first time this has happened? Last summer his cousins told us that he acted very strangely one evening and almost fainted. Okay, Campy, let's have a look at you. Well, we'll need to do some tests, but I think Campy may have epilepsy. How will this affect him? Epileptic seizures are a little bit like an electrical storm in the brain. It's far more common than you think, and in most cases, the seizures can be controlled with medicine. My brain is electric? Not quite, Campy. I think you may have had one or two seizures. It can happen to anyone at any time. Some kinds of epilepsy have only a little effect on everyday life. Let's confirm the diagnosis and find the best treatment. With your seizures controlled, you will be able to be at school, play sports and have fun with your friends, just like before. Many smart and famous people have epilepsy. Like who? Napoleon, Joan of Arc, St. Valentine. I could go on. Okay, go on then. <laughs> Some famous musicians were diagnosed with epilepsy too. Little Wayne and Prince, for example. What tests will you do? We will need to arrange for an electroencephalogram. For short, we call it an EEG. What does that do? An EEG measures the electrical discharges that occur in the brain and is performed by placing electrodes on the head. They are the size of a button with a little cable attached. We attach them with a sort of glue that doesn't harm the hair or the skin. The test is painless, so Campy doesn't have to worry. Phew! How did Campy get epilepsy? There are lots of causes. After birth, epilepsy can be caused by infections of the brain, such as meningitis. Head trauma can also result in epilepsy, or it can be genetic. Campy was born normally, and no one in either of our families has epilepsy. Sometimes the cause is unknown. The important thing is to start treatment as soon as possible. I am going to arrange for someone from an epilepsy group to go to Campy's school to tell his classmates and teachers all about epilepsy so that they understand exactly what it is. Goodbye, Campy. See you soon.